Right friends, we are doing a video on uplink fast. Now in this video, I am going to explain and will show uh, how does the uplink fast works. So the purpose of uplink fast is for speeding the convergence when a direct link to an upstream switch fails. The switch identifies backup ports for the root port. Right? These are called uplink group. If the port root port fails, then one of the port in the uplink group is unblocked and transition immediately to forwarding. It bypasses the listening and learning stages. It should be used in wiring closed switches with at least one block port. So that actually gives us uh, the scenario like this. Right? If this is the scenario that we have, and let's say switch one is the root. So if this is switch one and switch one is the root, here this is switch two. So where can we apply a blink fast feature? Right. It has to be applied, remember that, it has to be applied always on a switch which has minimum one blocked port, right? Now, once I compare it to backbone fast, later when I do backbone fast, we are going to see where do you apply that. That feature is quite similar to it, but it is backbone, uh, the uplink fast is always to have a backup of the root port, right? In pervalence spanning tree, you have three kind of... Uh, of pvst plus when you say it what is the plus here the plus is three features you have port fast you have uplink fast and you have backbone fast now these three features make the pvst as pvst plus if you look at rapid spanning tree these three features are added built in into the rapid spanning tree tree you don't need to define or you don't need to configure them separately but because i'm running pvst plus it's a ccna video we, we are going to see that these features, we have to enable them separately, right? But if you are running rapid spanning tree, which we are going to run a video on that, uh, you will see that we don't need to do this. Now, so switch one doesn't require it. I just want to see what kind of VLANs do I have. I have a spanning tree here. For VLAN one, I'll go to switch two also. And I want to see what kind of spanning tree we have here. Just one VLAN we have. We don't have many VLANs. And these are the ports that we have and i'm going to i just enable it i'm going to disable this so show spanning tree uplink fast and i'll also do show spanning tree here right and so we see one of the port is root port on switch two and another is blocked right so one of the port is that these are both designated because it's a root so no blocking port is possible on a switch which is root switch right or a root bridge so we don't have a black blocking port here now here we have this one is your root port which is going toward the root and this one is blocked. What uplink fast is going to do that is here the it will look at the number of uplink and it will put them into a group right not the port channel is going to put them in a group and whenever a root port fails it will quickly enable the second one because it it has that in the memory that this is the second guy so it's like EIGRP, you have all the time, you know, another uh, router there as a backup all the time. So you can quickly do the, you know, the convergence in the network. Almost same, similar feature you have here. You have a backup here all the time. You know the backup port, which will be the backup port here. Now that's not the backbone fast, that's for uplink fast I'm talking about. So if I say here, show uh, spanning tree uplink fast. I don't have it enabled. How do you enable it? Is you go to the switch and you say spanning tree uplink fast. That's all. There is nothing more required actually. Now, when you do that, right, when you are going to do that, you will see all of a sudden what was my cost for the ports on the switch, switch two. I'm on switch two, right? What was my cost and what is my priority? My local priority was this and my cost is these. Now, let's see that again. I will go and do show spanning tree. And you see what has happened. Right, you see what has happened here. The port cost has gone to 3004 and the priority is increased from 32769 to 4951153. Well, this is to make sure that we do not by mistake also becomes a root, right? Because we are not a root switch, so uplink fast is never applied on the root bridge. Remember that. Root, on the root bridge, you will never apply uplink fast. You will always apply uplink fast on the other switches in the network. 
other switches which have a root port which have a port going toward the root that's called root bridge uh, the, the root port so you will always apply uplink fast feature on the switches which are leading toward the root so this is a perfect case because it's leading toward the root here right and we need to have one blocking port because ultimately what you are looking for is an alternate path so as soon as you have some kind of uh, network failure you will have the second part going you know second path becoming fast pretty soon or it's coming up very soon now uh, I, I'm you know we need to really see it from the layer 3 perspective because I won't be able to prove just by looking at and quickly doing you know uh, that uh, the this scenario here it so we will create a layer 3 environment we'll try to ping with uplink fast and without uplink fast we'll try to create a layer 3 environment here so i'm just going to create probably interface vlan 1 itself i will say 1.1.1.2 because i'm switch 2 and i'll try to do it here i'll go here and i'll say interface vlan 1 and i say ip address is 1111 we want to see how fast is the convergence actually when something happens here. Now let's see, can we ping it? Right, I'm not able to ping it, so I'll see show interface VLAN 1 to see what's going on here. If there is an issue here, I'll just try to ping ourselves, ping 1.1.1.2. We can ping it, we'll go and check other side. Show interface VLAN 1. And we see that that's administratively down. So interface VLAN 1, we say no shirt. Right, and now we'll go back to the switch 2 to ping it to see how is the ping rate and what I'll do is interf I'll say no spanning tree uplink fast just to see sorry no spanning tree uplink fast just to disable the feature show spanning tree uplink fast here just disable and I am going to shut down these ports interface all right, so what I'm going to do here is I'll try to do uh, a ping. But before that, let me tell you what is that we are trying to achieve here. I have a switch, switch 2, on which I don't have, I should have something here. So spanning tree. And why is that? The VLAN 1 is down or something. Perhaps my interfaces are down. Let me check. All right. So I have a spanning tree running on VLAN 1, right? Ports are coming up, and you can see here I'm going to disable any kind of uh, debugging going on. <laughs> First thing I want to do here is I want to test the port fast feature. I just want to test a simple spanning tree. And I want to see how much time does it take for a layer 3 interface to converge and how many pings do I have as a dropout. Right? So for that matter, I will go here and I'll say ping 1.1.1.2, which is actually IP of whom? This is the IP of switch 2, VLAN 1, and I'll say repeat and probably repeat it lot of times so I see something is happening here say so shut and I want to see I just shut down the interface now there is no one of the interfaces shut down but if I see show spanning tree I had two interfaces right I had two interfaces 23 and 24 on switch 2 I have shut down one of the board and my ping is completely stopped because in spanning tree it is trying to move it to 
different port and listening and learning and other things are going on so here learning is going on here learning is going on and the forwarding started just now the forwarding started right let me close it here right so that was a pretty big loss for a couple of uh, seconds for around 50 second kind of delays what we saw there now let's see I have again I'm going to turn on this interface config T interface and let's say no shut to it show spanning tree we'll see what's going on it's going into listening learning now this time we are going to do our testing using uplink fast so I am going to say che let's check again show spanning tree uplink fast do we have the feature enabled no we don't have it spanning tree uplink fast what happens when I enable uplink fast <coughs> and now I want to test the same ping Okay. before I go here I want to go to this particular switch and I want to keep my command ready to disable this port I, because I, I want to keep it ready here I'll say this and quickly I'm going to say shut I did shut down but you see that there was hardly anything down right there was hardly a couple of packet down and nothing else it just moved on pretty fast to show spanning tree straight away it went to forwarding there was no listening happening no learning happening so it straight away went into that so that is the benefit of your uplink fast that it keeps the second the backup port into the consideration and if something goes wrong I'll just do it one more time so that I couldn't do it fast enough last time so I'll, I'm just going to do it one more time here I have the port I'll keep the shut command ready I will issue the ping again right I'll just say 1000 for the timing and I'll go to this port and say shut down I did shut down right now before I think I need to issue more before I go and do this I do shut and I say no shut so what is happening on the convergence side just to see that show spanning tree hardly anything anything down port is coming up the other was converged pretty fast no issues straight away it went into forwarding right show spanning tree uplink fast it has right now this is in forwarding and this other guy is in backup right now that's a status show spanning tree again we'll see and 23 is in blocking 24 is in forwarding here so that's how you know we we saw the layer 3 that layer 3 the uh, the performance is pretty fast if you have any kind of failure not only the failure if you have any kind of convergence it is hardly a, you know probably one or two second one or two drops and that's all and that's that's fast you know the uplink fast feature is so that's the reason they call it uplink fast right thanks a lot guys